So today, the court says you can now discriminate against certain people. And you know what those certain people are? The LGBTQIA. In a made up case by a woman who never even served LGBTQ people or never had anybody asked to build a website. Isn't that crazy? That's fucking crazy. Last night I was watching a documentary. I knew my history, but I'm so glad Netflix brought out a documentary called El Dorado. If you haven't watched it, go watch it on Netflix. El Dorado shows that before Hitler took power, Berlin was like the number one place for queer people. More clubs for queer people than there were anywhere else. And if you've ever seen the sh the musical Cabaret, it's based on that time period in Berlin. Did you know that? But anyway, you know, there was trans people back then. There was even a doctor who did trans surgeries and there was trans women that got together. Some of Hitler's top aides in the SA and the SS were homosexuals. What? So I always knew this because there was one of my favorite plays called Bent, which was originally on Broadway with Richard Gere. The movie came out in the late 1990s. Mick Jagger and Clive Owens. Mick Jagger was a drag queen, transsexual, transvestite, whatever, um, who worked the clubs, but had to revert back to being a male so they could pass through society. And you know what else they did? They had a pink list. So the pink list was like all the people that identified as queer, they had a list of them. So when Hitler took charge, they had a list of people they could go after. Gay, queer, trans, or whatever. You got the pink triangle. Trans and queer people were so popular. And then one day someone came in charge and decided, oh no, we're gonna wipe them away. History repeats itself. And if you don't know your history, then you allow it to repeat itself. Hitler was in the 20s. It's not that far off. And look what's happening because queer people are now accepted in America. There's a party that is doing exactly what Hitler did. Since, you know, the court said we can discriminate against LGBTQIA plus people, maybe we should all be able to discriminate against bigots and people that wear a red hat that say M-A-G-A, -A, them into places. See how they feel. Anyway, to all my uh, lovelies, remember your love, your valid, and your beautiful.